If you have a video that you recorded using Loom and you want to be able to upload it to YouTube, you will need to come into your Loom library and click on the video. Once you're in the video preview here, there will be an option to download the video. You will download the video to your computer and then need to go into YouTube. To upload the video in YouTube, you will click this little camera icon with the plus button in the upper right corner, that's the create button, and select upload video. It will ask you to select the file you want to upload. You can either drag the file or you can click select file and you'll get the menu of where that file might be saved if you've saved it in your downloads or somewhere else on your computer. Depending on how long the video is, it will start processing. Uh, it may take a while if you have a vid longer video. While that video is processing in YouTube, you can change the title of the YouTube video if you would like. You can add a more detailed description of what the video is about. You will need to select uh, this audience section. Uh, this is required, so it asks if it's made for kids. Uh, if it's something that you're sharing with students, you would want to say yes, it is made for kids. Once the video uh, finished processing, you can select the thumbnail, which is what the image would appear uh, when you first uh, view the video. And you can always upload your own image as well. Then you'll click Next. And then uh, there's nothing you need to do on this screen, so you can click Next again. And then this is the last section that is required, and that is going to be your visibility. So private videos require you to share the video with specific accounts or users, and then whoever is watching the video would have to be signed in using one of those accounts. Unlisted is uh, anyone with the link can view option. So if you copied the link and shared it with someone, as long as they have that link, they would be able to view the video without needing to be signed in, but it wouldn't appear in any search results. So usually this is the one that I recommend using uh, unless you had you know, some more personal information or something else that you would want to make this video completely private. And then you will click on the Save button. And you can always change all of those details uh, later as well if you do need to make any adjustments. You will see the link here. And from here, you can click the little boxes, which is the copy link, and then paste that link into an email, embed it in your PowerSchool, Google Classroom, uh, Seesaw, pages, wherever else you might be sharing this link with either students or other teachers. Once you've finished, this is the list of all of the videos that you've uploaded into your account. And again, this is where you could go into those details and change any of the options and change this visibility or the privacy settings as well. And then if you do make any changes, the save button will turn a different color and you will need to make sure you click save before you continue.